So I'm checking. So this shot here tends to green. No, this is normal. It's cool. I think. I think what you need is it's just a little bit more contrast where you want to feel him moving so slow right now. I think it works because he is the bigger creature. He might feel more confident and it's just more controlled almost, you know? And I'm asking, you know, you can't, you can't answer. It's my typical thing when I record something. It's so stupid. So I like what the dinosaur is doing. So I think my only notes would be like the bigger note is that the cat just feels too controlled and too calm. So he comes down here, which is cool here. Now I'm confused. So are you, if this is you change your rotation, right? He, there are a couple things here. As he turns around here, and again, the head is going through here, I'm assuming. It might just be right behind that thing, but. Yeah, make sure that it doesn't look like this means intersection between most contact points on the head. But if he goes this way and is already rolling, you know, this way, then the moment he hits this, it feels to me like he would do like you know like a one roll and then it's poof 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 poof. Yeah, that impact point it would roll a lot faster. So you're doing it's like a 180. But then after this, bah, see how this it just slides. This will probably just tear off his flesh here, the skin will be ripping apart. But I think you could be okay with faster turns. Now you might argue because of that, you're not going to get that hit in there. I am aware. But I'm curious if it would still be possible because you're doing a lot of sliding, but at this point, if you do, the rotation point might still be around here, so that the head will be here. You know, you got your head with ears. Those are his ears. With that, and you got this, and you might have the tail here. So you might still have um, his tail hitting that side, you know, part of his ass. It might still be possible, because the main impression that I have here is that the momentum change I'm not buying is that he goes over here, rolls, and then slides instead of doing a faster roll because of the friction and everything. And then it almost seems like it rolls the other way. Now you might say that's because of the um, tails slap. But I feel like it would it would impact him more in the head, and it's a smaller part here. But the, the bigger bigger mass in the body will continue to roll. It would just kind of twist where the body goes this way and the head goes this way because of the slap, and that might slow down the body roll a bit. But I don't think it would change the overall rotation plus you, you you get away from a pose like this where it just puts it's all just spread out and kind of twins and then after that it feels very human where i feel like this is a a human with an elbow here and his other arm out there you know and getting ready and i wonder if there could be a bit more of a elbow down i don't think elbow out on this on animals is it is not very common you know when you have your creature here front view Elbows don't really go out unless it's kind of a, a quick move, a slap or something. It's usually, you know, it's, that's more of a human thing. They'll bring in the elbows just a bit closer. But there's something about this pose where you want to make it less human-y. And after all this, it feels like it comes in, kind of waits, boop, gets ready. It has this dip there, it's back, and it attacks. And to me, it feels like it will be... He would tumble and then like mad scramble to, to get ready to get back on his feet with a couple, you know, little, little side steps on these guys. And of course, this might not be on the model, but just as an idea of the energy, like you do it, like, lips up and, and get ready. Just something where it's a contrast, um, where you got this big guy who moves slightly slower, 
throwing this guy around and because he's still mad because he just got shown, you know, who's, who's the bigger guy, there's so much more energy to him and so more, uh, much more aggression. Because he's defending, he keeps attacking, 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 he's totally more wired. So I feel like the energy should be amped up with, you know, quick moves, quick adjustments, quick little steps into, into that. Yeah. That's kind of it. That's kind of the overall, the overall impression. Okay, I understand what you're doing here with the slap. It just feels weird just because the momentum doesn't carry over through here already. And then it's really reversed with the slap. And by momentum, I mean like the rolling momentum. And if, again, I feel like the foot, the slap would affect this part, part of this neck. And the rest here would go the same way with the green part going uh, this way with a slap and your body going this way. Imagine you're twisting out a wet towel, you know, that kind of a twisting function. Which again, I'm exaggerating. It's not like you have to do that, that crazy like where everything gets kind of split in between, but it just feels like you want to continue with the main body roll. And I'm just curious if you do that, when that happens, where is your body going to land in terms of the tail? You know, the tail is here. Is it going to be close enough to hit his butt? And that's the ch you know the chest and then the head. Um, that would be something you would have to try out. Because right now it just feels force. It feels like a force element where, again, I, I totally approve of the idea. It's also partially my fault, but it feels like you are tweaking the momentum and the animation to fit this story point of the tail. Kind of the idea there it feels a bit forced right thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you